Hello and welcome back to our C++ Primer course. In this episode, we were looking at functions and how we're going to create them and use them in our code. So let's get started. Okay, so let's talk about functions. So functions are defined uh, above the main function that starts all things off. And in here, you do a couple of things. First of all, you have to define what is the return type for our function. And if it's not going to return anything, you just use the word void. And you put the name of the function you want to use. So I'm going to say um, print uh, result, we'll call it. And then you have your brackets. Now the brackets are uh, your parameters for your function. So what I actually want to set up in here is a parameter for my print result. I'm going to send over a string for our well, actually, let's print out a number we want. Sorry, we won't do a string. We'll do a number. Uh, print out a number the player's entered. So we're going to do an int and we'll do num. Okay, we can call it whatever you want. It's just defining a variable right there. It's saying it's integer and we call it num. We're then going to open up the statements with the code braces. And in here is where you actually put in your actual statements and what the function actually is doing. So here we're going to do a C out. And we'll just do the output is and do num and we'll end the line there. Okay, so print result int num, c out, the output is, and then num itself. Num is referring to the parameter in here. Functions have access to the variables inside the class, which is this whole sheet here, and variables inside their own functions. They cannot access variables inside other functions. So for example, main here cannot access num. Yeah, it doesn't it doesn't understand it. Again, error. It does not understand that. So you can only access it if it's inside of it and defined inside like that. So to actually call the function in our main here, we're going to do uh, we're going to do a integer to start things off. We're going to do int um, input. And we'll do C in input. And we're now going to call the function print result. Ooh. And here we're going to put in our input. So that is going to call our function up here, insert the input we just put in and output it. So if I push play on this, we now type in a value of say five, the output is five. And there we go. That is how it works. So you can do any kind of functions like this. Uh, so let's say I want to do a calculation now instead. So we're going to do a simple program here to add up two numbers and do the calculation in a function. So we do define, first of all, the variables. So I'm going to int value a and we'll do it together value b I keep mistyping on my keyboard um and in here we'll do the uh c out please enter a number and put in c in this be value a and then we're going to do a uh, new line c out uh, we'll do a new line please enter a second number And do C in again, value B. And then we're going to do our function. So we're going to do another function up here. We'll do a different one here. And we'll do um, int. So we're going to return an integer. And we'll do some t uh, no, values, we'll call it, some values. And we're going to have an int uh, A and int B. So it requires two parameters in this case, a and b, and we open up the statements, and now we can actually do the sum. So in here, I'm going to indicate the return value, 
So return A plus B. And now I can call that function inside my main uh, thread here. So I'm going to uh, sum values and put in value A, value B. Oh, misspelled that one. Uh, one thing to note, variables and functions are case sensitive. So do be aware of that. So putting that in is going to add those two values together. But that function just returns that sum values. It doesn't actually do anything with it. We ain't printing it to a screen or anything like that. So I'm going to use my print result to handle this as well. Now I could assign some values here to another variable and so forth, but I don't need to. What I can do instead is just do print result and put this function inside of its parameter. Like so. So this print result is going to run the function value A and B. So it's going to output this and then it's going to print out the value. So let's take a look at how that works. I just realized I need to also add in another new line. There we go. Oh, it was in uh, quotes. There we go. So if I play this, We've now got our program here, enter a number, five, the second number, six, the output is 11. Okay, and there we go, we're using functions now to handle a lot of the work for us. Now this is very useful if we find ourselves repeating our code a lot. If you do find that's the case, use functions to help you with that. It also allows you to do good getter and setters to access and change variables that you don't want access to everything, only for particular certain classes. Um, but more on the getting setters later on when we get into more complex stuff. Uh, but there you go, we've now got functions working inside of our little program. And there we have it, we can now create functions fairly easily. In the next episode though, we're going to show you how we can combine pointers and functions together to change values in our code. So you can watch the next episode right now over on patreon.com forward slash Ryan Laley. You can find all my videos early before anyone else. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye everyone.